They say the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Well, if the enemy of my enemy just so happens to be the enemy, isn't that just a friend of me? Or who shall I befriend? Social media has ruined the nation. What it means to communicate has been spun on rotation. The creation of Instagram has set a really low expectation because nowadays it takes three likes to be considered flirtation. And if you leave a comment, they'll leave you their location. The talking stage is just dating on probation. You're not locked in commitment, but you act with hesitation. For any wrong move you make, you're left with unjustifiable accusations. You know, who you with, where you been. Don't twist your answers for persuasion. Matter of fact, you're getting cut out of my bio like a social amputation. So now you're lonely. And your lonely life has got you stressing because this day and age, there's no such thing as affection because girls want guys with trigger compression and weapon concession. You know the dude's messing with Smith and Wesson. But see, you do this as a confession. My profession is making my pains rhyme in a harmonic progression. I can make my ex say why just like a linear regression. Or I'll make you square up first like there's no exponential expression. You see, my words are my weapons. I don't need to tote physical protection. And to think you wasted all your money on material possessions. So now you're lonely and broke. And Fyodor Dostoevsky once said, destitution is most certainly a vice. You see, when one is destitute, they sweep you clear of any human companionship, and to make it, more even, to make it even more inhumane, they use a damn broom. Now, the archaic dilution of Webster's definition of the word destitution is not merely dilution, but seismic pollution. You see, when one has been rudely introduced to social seclusion, they lose a certain humanistic attribution. The profound yet abruptly disrespectful evolution of the mental prostitution involving the seemingly Lilliputian has vastly changed its colors. And delusions concerned with an illusion is sadly mistaken to be as elusive as illusions. I've came to the conclusion that my brain is a wave of confusion, but not as much confusion as was taught in educational institutions. Who said this African illusions can't be as metaphorically elusive as a confused Confucius that's as animalistic as Lucius? The lack of contribution in this horrendous elocution is, you know what? Just lock me up or kill me. I'm ready for death of the prosecution because being me is basically a heinous crime in the Constitution. So I will not let my schooling get in the way of my education. Sonny Speaks.